killing sticks. Premium carbon fiber arrows. Hello, I'm Calvin. This is Sophia, my daughter Sophia. She's going to be my assistant today, and we're going to show you our new post and sleeve outsert system uh, designed by Rick Valdez. Uh, we're not reinventing the wheel. It's just uh, what we, we have originally. We have this. We have a 44 grain outsert and a 54 grain outsert made with 70, 75 aluminum. They're super strong. They're great. Uh, each one is color coded to the spine, right? So this is the 350 spine uh, for Mitchell payment. And then we have the, um, uh, each one has their own color, but what we have now we've designed this, uh, is a post and sleeve because it's kind of fail safe. The outserts are great, but, uh, sometimes they will pull off if you're not using the proper glue. We recommend AAE two part epoxy. Uh, it just works the best. It gives you time to mess around it takes the 24 hours to set up so you've got a good two hours of you know you can still move it but uh, anyway so basically this uh, post is 32 grains you can cut it off in five grain increments or just cut off 20 but that's as much as you can take and the sleeve is 53 so a total of 85 grains now some of these sleeves are a little bit more like go up to 55 and some go down to 52 uh, but they're uh, all within that 52 to 55 range because it just depends on the spine of the arrow because they're all precision fit to each spine of each arrow. So anyway, you take this post and you screw it in there and make sure it's tight. You always dry fit it like this and dry fitting means don't put any glue on. Slide it in there, make sure it fits tight, right? Then you pull it off. Now, what we're going to do is I'll get Sophia to do it is you sand the end of that shaft, just that one inch that it's going on there. Yeah, we'll just fold it over and sand her. And it doesn't have to be too much. That just gives it now wiper off and that gives it just a little bit of friction or roughness to stick to. But with the post, uh, you're, you're definitely going to have a lot of glue to stick in there. So now these were, I built these for uh, Mitchell Payment, Mitchell Payment's Moment of Truth TV. Check them out on YouTube and on uh, the Wild TV. And uh, originally he's shooting a 300 spine LTs, but we switched to 350. Uh, he was having uh, some issues with uh, fixed blade broadheads not flying properly. So we thought we'd do an experiment. I just fletched some three of these with the offset, like a three degree helical to the right. And, and with this full, because we want to match the weights of his arrow. So now what we would do is you take, we haven't mixed up this epoxy, so you take the lid off. Here you go. Squirt a little on the cord board here, I'll tell you. Yep, yeah, together there's two parts, yeah. Put her more in the middle. A little bit more. Good, lots, yeah. And then I just pull back on this to stop her from running out. And you put the cap back on. And you take your nail or whatever you want to use, mix her up, stir it. Okay, you've got a good gob there. And then uh, you, I just take a little on the nail, smear it on here like this. Set it back in there. Then you can smear the post as well, a little bit like that. And then slide it in. You're gonna get a big gob there, that's okay. Slide it back off, smear it back around a bit. That's what I do. Slide it back on and you're set. Now you see that extra, you can smear it back on the thing if you wanted, if you're trying to save on glue. I just wipe it off like that and then set it up like this, like put it in a boot or a rubber boot or something or, or whatever, because you want the glue, you don't want it to run into the threads. And each one of these are labeled like this is LT350. So it's, it's pretty hard to screw it up, uh, like mixing them up. So then we'll set them here in the guitar rack like that. So then the next one, sand the end. Wipe that sucker off. And we gotta get another post and sleeve. So you screw that in there and make sure it's tight, like screw it in tight as you can with your fingers. 
because you don't want it slipping off. Like I, I would, uh, you know, unscrewing on you is would be a bad one. So then again, you take this, smear a little on, take this, smear a little on, and you slide her in, slide her out, make sure you got good contact, and slide her back in, and you're styling, and then wipe it off. And just make sure that's all the way in. Same thing in this one, just sand the end. Like that, wipe the end. Grab another post and sleeve. Come on baby, screw it in together. I'm going to put this on the arrow, like this, then on the post, again, like that. And I didn't dry fit those, uh, which I should have, because what if it didn't slide on? You know, who knows, maybe the one of the sleeves got bent, maybe uh, you drop something on it or whatever. And so you should always dry fit it, but it's not bad with this kind of glue because you can wipe it off. Um, it's not so bad. If you're using like a quick glue, like a blazer bond, it's like you got 15 seconds and she's glued. Then you set that up there. <clears throat> now see, these are going to be Sophia's new arrows. She uh, arrowed a nice buck last year at 25 yards. She's 15 years old and I was pretty proud of her. Burr, burr. I've done a video on these outserts, but just to remind everybody again, I would sand the end like that, wipe it off, dry fit it. It slides on there, right? So you got to make sure it slides on all the way. And then you put the glue on like that. And then I always slide it on, slide it off. Put her back in there. There you go. And I got a guy shooting an 80 pound levitate with these outserts and they haven't pulled off. So that's pretty impressive. And then away you go. So that's pretty much in a nutshell. So we have these now, these are our 350 heavy micros. Uh, and the same thing, post and sleeve for these. Uh, they're all labeled M, M350. And these are our 0.001s, these are our 0.005s, in the same weight, same arrow, just a little more uh, affordable, I guess, because they're a 0.005. Uh, the outserts that were with them were just your basic aluminum outsert with no post. And uh, yeah, so you can kind of customize your, uh, your FOC with these, you know, because you got that 20 grains to play with. And they're a lot stronger than those old ones with the post. And they don't, they're easy to install and easier to, uh, um, they're just stronger at the base, right? So, uh, yeah. And that is our new post and sleeve, KS Extreme post and sleeve system. Awesome. Killing sticks. Premium carbon fiber arrows.